Hello, my name is Azul and I would like to introduce the Collectors app. Jonas and me have been developing this app throughout the last half year. I will briefly talk about what a collective is and what implications that has for our app. But for the most part of this talk I will be demoing the app. In order to make that easier, I'll be using the app for the slides as well. So you, everything you get to see, or most of it, will be inside the app. So what's a collective? Collective is a form of organizing, and people use this form of organizing to do tons of different things. For example, there's people doing gardening and agriculture and collectives, and in fact, I'm standing in a garden that's run by a collective. But there's also tons of other forms of collectives. There's collectives running hackerspaces, makerspaces, all kinds of workshops like bike repair spaces. There's collectives in culture and in politics, and there's collectives running bars and festivals and parties. So in a lot of fields and society, you can find collectives. But what's special about a collective? So one aspect that we wanted to consider when we started developing the app is that collectives try to decide together. They try to avoid hierarchies and try to build consensus amongst each other. They also share ownership, usually. And with sharing ownership, they also, also share responsibility. If people don't water the plants, they will die. And they are all responsible for it, or they share the responsibility in some way. One aspect that we also need to consider when writing an app for collectives is fluctuating membership. People join the collective, and then after some time they leave again. Maybe they move to another town, not part of the collective anymore. And we need to make sure that the app still works for the entire collective. So we thought about these things and tried to build the app that it fits these needs. And the main goal of the app is to build collective knowledge, to allow a collective to accumul accumulate knowledge over time and share that knowledge amongst its members. In order to achieve that in a good way, we try to encourage participation. So we try to make the app as usable as possible because we want to make sure that everybody can contribute. Uh, in order to deal with the flexible membership, we um, will make sure that the data stays within the collective, even if its member, uh, some of its members leave. So what's in the app right now? We have collaborative editing. Um, so we're basically using the next our text app for that. We have a welcome page for new collectives that introduces the app and how it works, but it can also be changed by the collective. And that's actually what we encourage people to do, try to adjust the welcome page so it becomes a welcome page to that collective rather than the app. You can view old versions of pages and you can revert to them. So um, if you feel like you made a mistake or you changed something and later on somebody complains, you can revert back to the old version. So, um, we try to integrate as well as possible with existing Nextcloud apps. So we're using the text app for editing, as I just said. So that doesn't just give us collaborative editing. It also means that people will have the same user interface that they're already familiar with maybe from other Nextcloud apps. We're using the Circles app to manage the membership. So each collective has a um, matching circle, and if you add members to the circle, they will become members of the collective. And all the data in the collective, like the different pages, are stored as markdown files inside your files. So you can also use your files in order to change the content of the files or add some files, remove them, move them around. It will be integrated seamlessly with the collective. So what we'll be doing next is we'll release a 1.0 version of the collectives app alongside Nextcloud 20. And in the next six months, we'll see how that goes. We're looking for feedback and obviously talking to collectives that we're working with and seeing how they feel about it and what kind of features they're missing. We'll also try to improve some things in the other apps that we're working with um, to make them work more nicely within the collective app. And we'll add some small features to the app ourselves. But for the most part, we'll be seeing how it goes. We hope um, to have some more things to announce next year, but we can't promise anything yet. We'll see how that goes. I would like to thank you all a lot for your attention. I would also like to thank the Hexlot community for being such a welcoming place and also for providing the foundation that we could build upon. 
Our work was sponsored by the Prototype Fund, so I would like to thank the BMBF, the Bundesministerium für Bildung und Forschung, and the DLR, the Deutsche Zentrum für Luft- und Raumfahrt, uh, for the funding and also for supporting us during the work.